Alrighty everyone, welcome back to another episode of Mysticraft Season 2. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you've heard it right. It is episode 2 and I know it's been a long time and I know this may look a little bit different because I've actually got a new computer, which I'm really excited about. You see, my computer, as you guys know, was getting older and older and I was saving for a new one. And then one day, a member of the server, Foxtowers3, said he's got a bunch of parts that are just collecting dust and he can send them to me. So he sent those parts to me, all the way from the United States down here to Australia. And I just had to buy a case. That's all. He sent me everything else. I bought the case and the fans um, that came with the case. And it's pretty amazing. I can now actually... There goes my phone. I can now actually play on Mr. Craft with, you know, great FPS. I can play modded and I can actually record now. So I'm really excited for this. And just a heads up, this episode is pre-recorded after the next episode. So episode two has been recorded after episode three. Yeah, I know. Bit crazy, a bit different. But what I want to do today is I want to get some pieces of this place set up and a member of the server Queen Valdorius has done a massive dig and we need to go visit his place so I'm just going to get a few shulkers ready and we'll go visit the Vold. But first ladies and gentlemen I just want to say how amazing this has all come because you're about to see the nether hub. I've been gone for a while and in my absence the nether hub has been made and I've seen it in person I haven't shown it on camera yet. Just look at this. Look at the integrity of it. You can see it goes dark. And if we look up, look at that amazingness. Yes, that it, it's it, it's pretty amazing that uh, tools come again. Like I remember season one, they built two roses, and now they've done it again. Like look at that. Look how and it's so detailed. And like, oh, is that that's you know gravel and wool and concrete? It looks amazing, tool. This. This is amazing. Like, um, you can get up here and this is where our mailboxes are. That goes down to another metro, but if you go upstairs, and I think each side has these. Yeah, they do. There's mailboxes. And you know, we've got our mail in there. Now I need to actually empty up my mailbox, but I haven't been bothered to do that yet. But it's pretty amazing. I love this nether hub tool. It's amazing. Good, good work. This is really good. And like, look at these tunnels. Now obviously all the tunnels need to be finished and extended along. I think I might be doing that um, to help out, but not for a bit. I gotta get some stuff set up first. So we're here at Queen Valdoris' bases. Bases? Base. <laughs> Queen Valdoris' base. And he, I believe this used to be a mushroom island. No, it's not because he's loaded up. But this used to be like, you know, dirt and cobblestone and everything. But he's completely transformed it into all stone. And he's built this. And this is pretty amazing. I saw the time lapse of it. And it was just beautiful. And look at that. Look at, look at all the, uh, resources he had to gather for this and he's doing quite an amazing job now he did do a big dig somewhere i'm not sure where it is i've got to find it but he did a big dig and he's got all these resources just sitting there for us to have so i want to try and find that because he said that we can take some of the resources and i know that Bangalore industries would love these resources he's willing to give us but I just gotta find it first. Look at this. I think I found the dig site. Yep, I definitely did. He is digging out all of this to go straight down. But look at this. Look at the detail. Wow. And I think these are what we're allowed to take. Yes, they are. Yep. These are all the these are all the resources he said we can have. So I am going to put down my gravel and sand and grab some of this gravel. Alrighty, so we have grabbed all the gravel and sand that we 
did want, but like, I mean, look at the guy. Look how crazy he is. Look at this dig he's made. Hmm. I will need to come out and help dig soon. Just to help the guy out, because I feel like I owe him after this gravel and sand, and how am I going to get out? Okay. <laughs> but yeah, after all this gravel and sand, I feel like I kind of owe the guy after all this. So I will have to get this back to him eventually. Not that, on stone. So I have to come down here and dig. So we'll do that in near future. But let's get back to the base and get our plans for today in action. So with us back at base, we can place those shelfers there and go get the blocks that I'm going to need for today's build. And I believe I die here. Yep, I need that. And okay, good. So thankfully I have the gravel and sand because I don't have any of that. But if we come up here, grab some sand and some gravel. And you guys already know what I'm doing, I'm making concrete powder. But with this concrete powder, we're able to make a modern house sort of built because I want to have um, it sort of being like a rich estate. Because with the theme of this base that you know, we're having um, it being kind of like a factory, and you know, all the workers down here, and this is the living area. This is all going to be, you know, super polished and looked after. And I know right now it doesn't look like that, but I want to get my house built up because everyone has a place to live except for me. Like Arch has this area that he's doing down here and kind of googly has up there, but I don't have anywhere. So I'm going to need to set this up and obviously I'm going to need to convert this So I've set up a bit of basics as you can see I've got these two massive walls and then this little bit of a water feature But what I want to do here is have a bit more of a wall And stretch it across and I know this is a bit of a flat place But you see over here where it's been carved in I'm gonna have my house even stretching over this like a bit of a bridge area that goes over the lake And then one day we're gonna flatten this down and over on the map over here, so I'm going to grab my ender pearl and show you guys the map that Arch Angel has put down. On here, this island looks like a three, and it's going to stand for the three members of this island. And it's going to have, you know, the three is going to be transformed to better to have kind of googly, Arch Angel, and me, Ben Domian. So I'm going to continue working on this, and I'll check back in with you guys later.
Alrighty, so we have this set up, and if I remove this block, it'll show the water fountain again. But I have set up a bit of the basics. So you'd walk in through here, and you have a room here and big area. And I think I'm going to have a garage here. But what I want to do up top here is I want to put an open floor plan. And what I mean by that is literally an open floor. I'm going to put glass as a roof, and it's going to be an actual pool. And I'm getting really excited for this. So I'm looking forward to getting the rest of it done. But I have plans where over here, I think I'll do just a balcony, a pool, and then like there'll be stairs somewhere that will lead up to the top. Bit of an upper deck and then stretches across up here. And where we'll be going will be our memorial hall for the members of the uh, Mysticraft server that decide to come visit here. And for um banglekin industries so yeah i'm looking really forward to it so let's get this down pat Alrighty, so now that we've actually got this all built up, let's go have a look. Well, it's not all built up, but I've got some basic fundamentals down. We'll quickly kill these mobs that are in here, because it has gone dark, so we've put in a bit of a flooring. So we, we've got proper floors, and I'm using terracotta in here. You can see in the roof I've used it. But we've got some terracotta flooring, and I've put down glass and walls. And in here is going to be a garage, and what I want to have is a waterfall going across there. Now if we go upstairs, we have an all see-through glass staircase. And when we get to the top, we don't want you up here. That's what we don't want at the top. There we go. But at the top, you'll, we'll have a balcony here that will overlook the area. And then we'll have stuff around here. This is for like, you know, if I'm flying through, I want to quickly land in my house, but I only want to go upstairs or something. So like, for instance, if we quickly jump down here, and then, let's just say I'm flying back from somewhere. Oh, so I can take off. There we go. And I'm flying back, and I just want to go on my home. I'll just fly through here, jump through here, quick landing. But anyway, then we've got a um, bit of a room, and then here, this would be another balcony. But here I want to have a pool. I want to have a pool on here, and I want to have it so at the top or in here, it's just got a waterfall down. So I want to build that up, but we won't do that there was a, this episode. I just wanted to get this all done, have a bit of a building set up, you know, have some basic fundamentals. There's an end of mine. As we get rid of that. But yeah, so we've got some fundamentals up. We've got a bit of a basic area of the house. Next episode, though, we'll be doing some more building, but it won't be here. But I won't give you guys spoilers for that. But ladies and gentlemen, I hope you did enjoy this episode as much as I did. We've built a modern house and we're going to continue building this and upgrading the area around us. Ladies and gentlemen, this will be our episode 2 with a new computer on Mysticraft Season 2. Hope you're excited as I am and I'll see you guys later.
and be sure to join my Discord. Link is in the description. Okay, bye-bye.